are you doing, cute puppy? This is Funkaboo. She's a sweet girl. She is. Yep, there's Lucky Lou. Hi, Lucky Lou. And then, oh, goodness. Stretchy, stretchy, there's Indiana Jones. <laughs> Winter here with Abundant Living Homesteaders. Today's video is gonna be about showing this solar setup. Um, it's very simple. Sean's gonna do all of the setup. Obviously, I'm learning as we go here. But the reason we're getting this setup again is just an idea. So when we get up to the property in October, we're gonna make it very easy on ourselves to make sure that we have all the things that we need when we get up there. So we're kind of doing that pre-setup process just so that we have an idea of what we want. So this 100 watt setup is honestly just for the, the shed that we're gonna be using up there. It's not really gonna be doing anything other than that. It's like a, for our lights and anything like that we want in the shed. Uh, it's really kind of cool and it's learning how to be more self-sufficient, right? So we have here a Thunderbird Magnum 100 watt solar amp panel kit. We purchased separately two universal AGM 35 amp hour batteries. One of the four 25 watt solar amp panels with stand that are supplied with it. A manual, but I'm not sure why they use the word man because we don't ever read it. Separately purchased Duralast 200 watt inverter. One charge controller included with the solar kit that has two USB ports, three pen light ports for LED lights, car charger, mounting brackets, and two solar lights that come with the kit also. This total setup costs around $300. So we, we're gonna hook all this up and show you how it's done so you can get instant power from the sun. All right, so it looks like these, what are these things called, charging posts? They actually don't fit on these batteries. So we're gonna just run up to Ace really quick and see if we can find the right ones that'll fit into there. Bigger than a six. Yeah. Maybe that is six. Oh, six mil. Okay. Alright, so this is what we ended up getting. A dollar fifty-two. There you go. Okay, so Another really cool thing that Sean scored this week, which is really cool, is these trail cams. We've been really wanting to get these trail cams just to put up on the property. And since we are gonna be making a trip up there in October, we were really hoping that we'd have these in time. Mm -hmm. And it's super exciting that he was able to find these at a very discounted price. Yep. So where did you find them? Uh, Auction Nation online. And I uh, won a bid for one of them is five dollars and the other it was ten dollars so the five dollar one this was the five dollar one yep it was missing the the antenna the antenna and so i'm just going to order an antenna online as an extra and then um, use the the ten dollar one it comes fully equipped these are cell phone they run off the of cell phones they send you a alert messages on your phone from with there's movement um, operated their infrared that came from wild game encounters trail cameras the owner's manual we'll do a setup video on them we just wanted to set up some security there see what's going on in our property why we're not up there and so this was a neat option uh, we'll probably get a couple more and set them up in various locations we can watch things that are going on. See yep. all the animals too. And, I know, from and, afar, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, and we'll download them um, what we can uh, when we get the SD cards because they require an SD card and eight batteries. And then we'll set them up and share with you what, what kind of uh, game is on our property and what's going on up there while we're not there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, and the fact that it doesn't require Wi-Fi is even cooler. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know how this thing works, but yeah. um, now I do. So anyways, this is such a great 
idea, you guys, when it comes to learning about finding deals. Right when you think that you can't afford something, um, you can find websites like this where you can do these auctions. Or you auctions. don't want to spend that kind of money. At Costco, they were $139 a piece. Right. And we were like, well, we want like four of them. So yeah. you start, it starts adding up after yeah. a while. So I just started doing some research and found, uh, found them on the website. But what other, I mean, have you guys found other means to find this kind of stuff at a, a good mm -hmm. rate? I mean, this works for us, but we want to share the wealth of knowledge. So if you guys have any ideas on where else you can find these kinds of things, we would love to hear your comments. Yeah, and, I'll, and we have some addresses too where you can physically go here in Arizona mm. um, that you can go to and look over um, their return items sometimes. Uh, some of them are discontinued items or things like that at Home Depot. They're still in the new packages. They they might have a little miscellane miscellaneous missing thing here and there, but they're pretty straightforward with what's there and what's not. And yeah. All right, we're gonna get back to the solar panels, you guys. Yep. Indiana, what you know? Okay, sir, what are you doing here? Wrapping wires. The wires going from the battery terminals. Red positive, side to side, ne negative. And I want them the same length. So what I did was wired charge controller. The charge controller, these go to the solar panels. You can also add additional solar panels underneath here on the far left hand one. You know, positive, it shows plus for a positive, minus for a negative, obviously. Here's the center one's a battery, positive and negative. And this is also for additional lighting, 12 volt or there's three ports here you can add these lights to and just plug them in because they come in with a, a plug-in. Pulling through this, I'm also wired in series a 200 watt amp inverter. This is usually to a car, but this thing will be just fine for what we need for additional plug-ins. And then we, and we wired it through two 12 volt, um, I think it's a 35, amp hours per per battery so we had to, we so we got a total of 70 hours of amp hours per battery this normally you'd probably run a shunt in between here or a fuse in link fuse um, what i've done is because of um, we're not pulling much from it uh, this is a 35 amp 
fuse already in there. So uh, I'll just use it off of that. And if I have any problems, I'll add the shunt later, which is just go between this wire and this wire with an additional bus bar or fuse, the end link fuse or shunt that looks a lot like something like this. This is a simple procedure. This is one solar panel and there's a, a total of four all together. It has three additional ports that plug into the solar panel themselves just by that. And you plug them into each panel comes with its own cord. And, the, and so you just take it, wire it out, and it has plenty of cord. It. You can run it out. It looks like probably about 50 feet or so, maybe, maybe yeah, 50, 60 feet for each panel. And then they stand up. Just basically, this was something that was simple, inexpensive, and we wanted to test it as well as play with it a little bit. Our, like again, once again, this is going to our shed, which we just need some additional lights and maybe a little bit of outlets, oh, charge our cell phones, our, you know, run a fan, a light, it'll, it'll do all that. You want to wire this all up to where you're hooking everything to the charge controller. And the last thing you do is hook up the solar panels. Some people uh, cover the solar panels themselves with a blanket, a blackout blanket or something. So you got minimal charge. Right now we have some sunlight com coming in. So you can see that the, there's a blue light here that's showing some charge to it, which we got 12.5 four volts you have to program that in there what kind of battery that you're using off of this so that it knows how to charge and and do its readings it seems to work all right and for a couple hundred dollars you've got yourself some some power i would recommend this product and seems to work great right now we're running our 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 camera off of it to, and it's charging just fine i just we wanted to put something simple together for you guys and and show you that anybody can do this if you have any questions please put them down in the comments below we hope you enjoyed this video you guys if you did go ahead and like the video it's so super helpful to us if you haven't subscribed please do so hit that notification button we'd love to have you back again so we picked out this video and this video for you hope you have a wonderful day and remember, be loving and kind.